Fran with you, and I'm delighted now to welcome Nottinghamshire's own, what shall I say, the Darren Brown words, well, because that's what will detract from how marvellous Looch is. <laughs> hooray, it's Looch. In fact, let's have a hooray. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Looch. Hello. That's how you like to be known. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's quite something, though, to be compared to Darren Brown, because he is awesome. He certainly is. But you strive to be as awesome. Let's get you in front of a microphone. That one will be great. Yeah, okay? lovely. You were in between two there. Even I couldn't manage to uh, bring that one. <laughs> <laughs> bring that one off. Um, and you do perfect similar sort of techniques to you as him. Yeah, I mean, I say uh, that I'm a mind reader and an entertainer. Um, a while back, I was almost on a mission to sort of say that it's not psychic, it's not a magician. I didn't want to pigeonhole it. So, But now, I suppose, as I've grown into it, it's more to do with just entertaining. So if I appear to read your mind, I'm going to let you make your own judgments on that. Ah, uh, as long as you enjoyed okay. it, that's the main thing. Do you know, you have to be care so careful these days about what you can claim in your advertising. If you say you're a mind reader, the advertising standards authority might be on you. <laughs> that is true, but then again, they would have to disprove that I am actually reading their mind. They when would. They can't do that. <laughs> well, we could all have a go at trying. <laughs> we can try. what you're going to do is try to prove that you have some kind of powers, whether that's a power of your intellect mm -hmm. or our mental transparency is for you listening to decide. I do know from experience, though, that you are going to be impressed by what you hear. Just before we do something to illustrate what your skills are, Luch, this is something that you don't just pick up by reading a how-to book overnight. It's no. something you've worked at for years, isn't it? It is. I mean, I first got into this when I was about 15 years old. Um, and I got in through the traditional magic route. So I was in Florida, and I saw a, a sleight-of-hand magician who was doing a trick and he was also selling his books so he obviously must have written up every trick that he came up with and selling them to try and make a bit of money on the side uh, he showed me a trick which involved him displaying i think it was a dime an american silver coin uh, he blatantly showed his other hand as empty and instantly those little dime turned into two large coins in front of my eyes it was the t first time I'd seen anything to do with magic, traditional magic, up close in, in person, as opposed to seeing it on the TV, where anything could happen. It could yeah. be editing or, or mirrors, and you know, every, we, all, we always hear those stories. But it was the first time I saw something up, up close, and it fascinated me. Not so much the trick, but the misdirection, him getting me to look at certain parts whilst he did the sneaky stuff. Uh, and I was really interested in being able to sort of, not manipulate, but let's say psychologically direct your attention um, and controlling certain elements so you can get away with other things. That was my into this this kind of entertainment, I suppose. Auto-suggestion, that's something that we've become aware of, that little phrase, auto-suggestion, haven't we? Through people like Darren Brown. Yes. Um, you but... plant ideas, plant little thoughts and images in our minds and we don't even know you're doing it. No, uh, and that's what I'm going to attempt to do with you in a few moments, actually. OK, I'll try attempt not to, to resist it too much. <laughs> the problem is you can be too aware of things. It's like being hypnotised. That you, is true. That is very, very true. You can be too aware of it, can't you? So in a way, we've probably, um, we've probably spoiled it a bit now already. Well, maybe so, but we'll, we'll go. I mean, should we do it now? Should we, Ooh, should we give go it a go? Go on, then. Go on. OK, so what this is about, uh, for me, is being able to find um, different ways of actually coming up um, with visual demonstrations. Uh, and the demonstration that I've got is based around colour. So um, I've got what can only be described as a, a child building block. And on each side there's a different colour. That's in Lucia's hand right now. Um, which I'm going to pass to you. Now this okay. is obviously difficult for your listeners because they can't really see. So we're going to have to be the, the eyes and ears uh, and describe what we're going to be doing. Yeah. So as you can see there's different colours on each side and I would like you to just name one of those colours that you can see without giving it too much thought to start with. Well out loud? Yes please. Okay, red. Red, okay. So that response gives me an indication of what you might choose next. Does that make sense? Okay. I know red's a warm colour. I know red is um, you know, the sign of danger, the sign of blood, the anger, the rage, that kind of thing. So if I ask you to choose another colour, which I'm going to in a moment, not just yet, <laughs> yeah. um, and the way we're going to do this, I'm going to ask you to look at the cube and decide on one colour, and then you place it on your desk with the colour on top. OK? okay. Uh, I've got a little handkerchief. If you can just cover the colour up, obviously, so I can't see what colour you've gone for. And I'm, I'm sat across from the desk, so there's no way I could see as well. Uh, and if you want, I can turn away. So I'm turning the colour to the top. 
Yeah, just cover it up so no one can see, especially not me. All right, then. Bear in mind you went with red to start with. Mm -hmm. Have you selected can a colour? Can I color? change my mind? You certainly can. All right, I've changed it. Okay. So you went red to start with, yeah? Yes. Now, red, like I said, is a warm colour. So I'd expect you now to choose the opposite, a, cool, a cold colour. So I think you would probably go for blue. <gasps> That's brilliant. I had I had yellow and then I changed it to blue. Which is, uh, yellow is another warm colour, but it's not quite as committed. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I thought you were expecting me to choose another warm colour and I thought mm -hmm. yellow was warmer than blue. That then is I, true. So then I changed it to blue, you see. Ah, Thinking well. I'd trick you. <laughs> well, let's go again. I mean, I could have guessed. It's a one in six chance. So you've gone red to start with, then blue. Yeah. So let's go with a different colour. Okay. This is a, you can this is go a... blue again if you want oh, to. All right, already. don't again? let me influence you. Okay, uh, I've got a co just to describe this. I have this little cube in my hand. Each surface has a different colour on it. I'm now going to pick another colour, and it's underneath the cloth on my desk. Go and on. there's no way I can see this now. No, no okay. Not. So what did you go for to start with? Red, then blue. Mm -hmm. um, now you realise I'm getting these colours right. So the colours don't really seem that safe anymore. <laughs> so And the fact that you're laughing, you're giving me away, you will probably go into one of the corners, one of the tones, which is either black or white. I don't know which one. So I'm just going to ask you to think of the colour for me and visualise something that is that colour. <laughs> Stop it. OK, so this is this is white with you. Yes, there's something nice and white. It is white. Perfect. Come on, what did I give away that meant it wasn't black? Well, if I tell you, then you'll be able to go out and do this and it'll kind of make me unemployed, so uh, I can't oh, really tell you that. Oh, loot. <laughs> go on, then. One uh, more time. Go on, one more one time. One more time, OK. And are Blue you then saying white. that I can repeat any of these colours? Any colour you want. And I will attempt to not only influence, but I'll attempt to sort of get in your head and make that decision for you. OK. OK, do you have a colour in mind? Yes. Yes? OK, think of something that is that colour. Mm -hmm. OK, you have something? Yep. Um, you like to be outside, don't you? You're a, a bit of a country girl, <laughs> so you'd probably go with something the colour of nature. I would say green. I How guess. did you do that? That is green. <laughs> Let's have a hooray! Woo! That was amazing. That's really good because it's not just a one in six chance. It's because a one I in could six have chosen times one in six times one exactly, in six. Exactly. If you know your maths, very, very good. Now, Luch is looking for one of you. You to experiment on Nottingham 934-3434. Do you want to do something like I've just done with Looch? Of course you do.